Madison Beer is one of the most famous celebrities out there. She has millions of followers and has been in the industry for over a decade, but a lot of people don't take her seriously as a music artist. I'm Adam the Flop and I'm gonna be talking about all of this, but first, make sure to subscribe so that you can see more of my channel. So Madison Beer started her music career at a very young age. When she was just 13, a friend of her mother's invited her to a recording studio in New York to just record some songs and test out her voice. During this recording session, she ended up recording a cover of the song At Last by Etta James. And guess who saw this cover? None other than the biggest male pop artist at the time, Justin Bieber. So what did Justin Bieber do? Well, he shared this cover onto his Twitter account and this led to Madison going viral and to her signing with Justin's manager, Scooter Braun. After Madison signed with Scooter, she also moved to LA and signed with the label that Justin was signed at, which was Island Records. Now this was sort of the era in music when artists, especially younger artists, didn't really have much control or say over what they were releasing. So what happened with Madison was she ended up getting a lot of bubblegum pop songs like Unbreakable and Melodies. So they were written by other people, but Madison recorded them and released them even though she didn't 100% believe in them. She was kind of marketed as a Disney or Nickelodeon girl without actually being on Disney or Nickelodeon. So I think this is why the general public wasn't really interested in those initial songs that she was releasing. And on top of that, she was dealing with a lot of bullying on the internet. Unfortunately, because Madison entered the industry at a very young age, she dealt with internet hate very early on in her career, which she talks about in her memoir, The Half of It. In honor of Mental Health Awareness Month, I am partnering with Audible to highlight The Half of It by Madison Beer, which includes her experiences with depression, anxiety, and borderline personality disorder. I listened to this memoir on Audible where you can hear Madison do the narration herself, which is so special because these are her own stories, so hearing them come from her own voice just makes it feel so much more powerful. I think that listening to this audiobook on Audible can really help people who struggle with their mental health feel like they're not alone. On Audible, you can listen to memoirs like this and also have access to audiobooks of so many genres like mystery, sci-fi, history, and business. You can try Audible for free for 30 days by going to audible.com slash adamtheflop or by texting adamtheflop in one word to 500-500. I definitely think that all of the internet hate Madison received, especially early on in her career, unfortunately contributed to people not taking her music career seriously. In her memoir, she discussed the first time she experienced internet hate, which is when she was 15 years old and private photos of her leaked on the internet. She sent these private photos to a boy from her hometown who she had a crush on, and she didn't think he would be able to do anything with them because it was on Snapchat. However, she came to find out that he had an app that automatically saved certain Snapchats that he received, so he had all these photos on his phone. He ended up sending them around, and they ended up on the internet on pretty much every social media platform, like Twitter, Instagram, Vine, all of that. And Madison received so much hate on each of these platforms for sending these pictures. She was only 15 when this happened, so I can't even imagine being that young and just going on social media knowing that people are going to be hating on you every time you search your name. She mentioned in her memoir that she felt so embarrassed when this was going on because she had just started a music career, so she would have to tell her mom and her whole management team that this was going on, and she truly thought that her career was over. Her career obviously didn't end after this, but neither did the internet hate. The next big train of internet bullying she experienced was when she was 16 and was dating Jack Galinsky, who was pretty famous at the time for Vine and his music. Because she was dating him and it was during the time period of 2016, she experienced a lot of hate from Jack's fans who were mostly girls on the internet. In her memoir, she talked about how people on the internet started spreading rumors that she got with every guy in Jack's friend group, and it basically just seemed like a lot of his fans were jealous of Madison for dating Jack. This contributed to a lot of Madison's anxiety and it got to a point where Madison was supposed to open for him at a concert and she didn't want to because she felt like she was going to get booed off by the crowd. She ended up going on stage and not getting booed, but she was genuinely concerned about her safety. Like I mentioned earlier, this was back when her music was mostly bubblegum pop songs, which she didn't have any control over. She had a whole team of people around her who were trying to create an image that just wasn't her and wasn't sticking with the general public. Her team most likely saw that this wasn't working out and they weren't making much money from her efforts, so when Madison was 16, her label and management dropped her. This led to Madison feeling like she was a failure and she wasn't even sure if she wanted to continue doing music. In fact, she and her mom were considering moving back to their hometown of Long Island. 
But Madison realized that even though her old team didn't believe in her, there would be other people who would see her potential. This led to Madison deciding to continue music by becoming an independent artist, but this new journey was terrifying for her because she mentioned in her memoir that she lost all of her confidence when she got dropped. But being an independent artist allowed Madison to have full creative control over her music and also start songwriting instead of getting random songs handed to her that were intended for kids. I think Madison's journey as an independent artist was so essential for her career because she was able to talk about way more mature topics in her songs. She was able to gain a much larger fan base with her 2018 debut EP, As She Pleases. Personally, this is when I became a huge fan of Madison because I saw her artistic growth from songs like Unbreakable and Melodies to all the songs on As She Pleases. They sound completely different. Madison had a lot of success as an independent artist with many songs receiving hundreds of millions of streams. After a few years of being an independent artist, she ended up signing with a new label, Epic Records, in 2019. In her memoir, she mentioned that the most important thing was that she would be able to have control over her music, which this label allowed to happen. In fact, in her memoir, she mentioned that the control she had over her music allowed her to make the song Selfish a single, which originally her team didn't really want to happen. It's a slower, more of a ballad song, and her team thought that she should go with a more upbeat song, but Madison really believed in the song Selfish. And good thing that she did because this song ended up resonating with so many people and now it has over 300 million streams on Spotify. Selfish was part of Madison's debut album Life Support and I feel like this album should have brought Madison's music to the mainstream and it definitely succeeded in getting her a bigger fan base but none of the songs charted. And I feel like this is because not enough people take Madison seriously as a music artist. She has the fans and people know she does music, but I feel like the general public just sees her as a social media influencer solely because of her following. And I think that's messed up because her music is great and it deserves to be super high on the charts. I also think that part of the reason why people on the internet who aren't her fans don't take her seriously is because of all of that initial hate she received at the start of her career. She started getting a following at such a young age and that following wasn't necessarily due to her music. It was because she was talked about so much on the internet. I really hope that people take the time to check out Madison's memoir because they can really see her as a human being and as an artist as opposed to just someone on the internet. And we need to give her music the recognition it deserves because let's be honest, Madison is a songwriter. Thank you all so much for tuning into this video. Make sure to subscribe so that you can see more of my channel and also check out my short form content on my other social media profiles.